What's going on YouTube, BustDH here, and today in this video, we're going to be looking at my custom PC. Now, this will be a series of videos coming up. It's not really a build log. I don't really have the funds to dump all that money into a PC right at once. I've got more or less of these parts over a period of time. Some new, some used. This will be more of an upgrade log, so let's dive into it. So for the case, I have a Cooler Master HAF922. Now, you might notice a side window, which actually doesn't come from one of these cases, because I made it myself. It was actually fairly easy. I used actually a pair of tin snips to cut out the window. Cut a piece of plexiglass out, four self-tapping screws into each corner, and I bought some rubber trailer window gasket stuff. I don't know what it was. It was cheap, but yeah, cheapest windows ever. <laughs> you can also notice the lights inside the case as well. Guess what? Also super cheap. I got a 30-inch SMD LED strip in which I went and wired to a female Molex cable. Negative strip off to the ground, positive off to the 5-volt yellow cable, and plugged it into the Molex right off the power supply. Once again, you can see my cheapness coming out in this build. So for power supply, I actually have a Hunt Key 900 watt. Uh, I actually bought this when I first started the build, when I had no clue what was going on about two or three years ago. Uh, some might say it's overkill, but in some videos coming up shortly, you'll see why it's not. It's a fairly good PSU, which is fully modular, and the only thing I don't like is the, the multicolored cables. They're fucking ugly. Um, but hey, if I'm lucky, maybe with cable mods, you guys can maybe send me some nice black ones over to clean it up a little bit, but hey, we can all dream, right? Uh, the CPU is an i5-3570 that's been overclocked to 4.3 GHz. It's a small overvolt with a 1.25 clock on it, uh, an NZXT Havoc 120 cooler on top of it. But right now my temps are a little high, um, after some Prime 95 testing I'm getting into the high 70s, mm, haven't hit 80 yet, but I'm not too happy about it. And also, a solution for that will be coming up in a video as well. Uh, the board is an ASUS P8Z77-VLX, which is a fairly good board. Lots of SATA 6 slots, a few USB 3.0, and tons of PCIe ports is pretty much everything I need. For memory, I have 4 DIMMs of 4GB DDR3 memory, uh, but only 1333 MHz. For the fans in the system, it's pretty much just a mix and match. On the, on the cooler is two generic Cooler Master 120s. The rear exhaust is also a 120 NZXT fan. The top fan is a 200mm Cooler Master that came with the case, and the front is also a 200mm Cooler Master red LED fan that came with the case. For my main storage is the ADATA 256 SSD, which runs my OS, some games, and my important programs like Sony Vegas, other stuff like that. For larger stuff, two 2TB Hitachi 7200 RPM drives for capture and rendering. Also for like media files for the YouTube stuff. And then I have another 2TB Seagate drive which has all my media on it. So music, TV shows, Blu-rays that I've ripped to yeah, use Plex to watch on my devices. And now last but not least, the best part, my GPU is an MSI R9 280X which is pretty good. Most AAA titles with anti-aliasing, shadows, textures, all that can hold 30 FPS pretty good. But it's pretty lonely in there so in the future I'll see if we can find a friend for him. And just squeezed above the GPU in there which I have to move is my AverMedia Live Gamer HD. This is what I use to use most of my recordings on if it's not 60 frames per second, so that's pretty much my go-to one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as I said, this is just like a little series, like upgrade log that's going on rather than a build log. If you have any questions or anything I missed, let me know down in the comments and I'll get back to you shortly. Thanks for watching guys, and don't forget to subscribe for more great content.